Okay, <clears throat> the homemade 44 gallon drum pizza oven so far. So, I started the pavers and um, take this door off. And as you can see, I haven't finished the back, right? So as you look back, you can, you can see in. And um, there's all sand underneath here and it goes up the sides and uh, they're pretty solid in there and uh, so what I have to do tomorrow hopefully they're finished it tomorrow as you can see inside the drum right I'm gonna I don't have a masonry blade to cut for the rest uh, down the bottom there so I'll cut them to size and drop them in and then obviously I'll do the do this uh, the side as well and then um, then obviously do the pavers at the back, up close to the wall. And then I'm going to have a big metal plate that goes from one side to the other and it goes up. And then basically I'm thinking, I'm, I'm realizing, which that's okay, it doesn't really matter. But what I'm gonna have to do is cut. Because this is all pot riveted, as you can see. So I'm going to cut. I'll get back a bit clean across there right so I can take that section out and uh, I can I can put it back on anyway that way I can slip the plate in through the back and uh, and make sure all the pavers are all good as well and um, then pop rivet it back on and uh, then I might put a steel plate across here just to seal seal it up again which is not going to really, really matter because as you can see it's it's going to be all insulated by by these bricks so hey touch wood see what happens and um yeah so that's it so far i think it's going to work and um hey if it doesn't well, at least i had a crack all right cheers from spuds